Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to learn my new technique for bulletproof foundation. I absolutely love this technique. It has really helped me improve my foundation's stability. It used to be that I would put my foundation on in the morning, and then maybe about two o'clock in the afternoon, I would be in the bathroom after lunch at work, and I would look in the mirror and go, oh my God, where is my foundation? It would be off in places, there would be big holes in it, and you could really see my big pores, which I don't like. So I will go ahead and show you this great way to keep your foundation sticking around all day. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, it just gives you email notifications of when I post new videos. Also, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be good too. Okay, let's get down to this. And many of you know that I wrestle with large pores. And so I've been using this wonderful little Smashbox Pore Minimizing Foundation Primer, which I really, really like. So I just go ahead and put that primarily in my T-zone. Just kind of slap that on there. I don't like to get it too far to the edges of my face because it does look a little bit white and I don't like to waste it either. I don't think it really is necessary. There we go. You can already see where that makes my skin look a little more even and it nulls out those pores. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and dot foundation all over my face, and I'm using my favorite at this point, which is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation in the color Nude. I'm finding that generally, in terms of foundation colors, for some reason, I like the nudes. They're not too golden because I can tend to look really orange, which is not a good look unless you're a pumpkin. A little bit down here. Maybe I went a little too extreme on the amount. For me, more is always better. Now I am using this wonderful little Clairsonic foundation brush and I always thought this was a huge gimmick until I used it and I found I really love it. And what I do to make the foundation stay around all day is I use this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is fabulous stuff. Ever since I started using this, my foundation really lasts. Just give it a few spritzes there. Then you're just gonna go around and you don't spray it like totally wet, just a little bit damp. And then you're going around just to kind of blend that foundation in. Maybe I should use my magnifying mirror here so I can really see if I'm hitting it. Just kind of little circular motions. Beside the nose is good too. Then up along the hairline. Whenever you feel your brush gets a little dry, you can give it another spritz. I'm going to spritz it again. Spritz. And I will give you a tip on the brush too, and that is that they do get gunky. And so really every day or two of using this brush, you really do need to go ahead and wash it. I have two of these brushes so I can wash them and let them dry because you really, I've tried it to where I've washed the brush and used it right away with the water still on it and it just makes the foundation too watery. So you really do need to start with a fairly dry brush or at least a damp brush. Go down on the neck a little bit, blend that into the neck, under the chin. So you just put that all over your face and then you go ahead and go in with your concealers under your eyes. I'm going to go ahead and use this Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes. And as you can see, I'm still wrestling with that Mohs incision. It's been just about maybe a little over two months since I had the Mohs surgery. And I have to admit, friends, it has been difficult to go through seeing that incision as big as it was to start, but it is really starting to blend in a lot more. I'm going to Kansas City on Monday to see a really good plastic surgeon who is supposedly an expert at helping deal with scars. And so we're going to uh, see what he would like to do to hurry that along a little bit. And I know that over time, it is going to totally blend into my face, but that can take 10 months to a year. And I am very impatient. And plus, you know, I've got a YouTube channel. And so I want to look as good as possible. That's just an excuse though. I want to look as good as possible anyway. There we go. Kind of blend that in. And I use a little foundation brush just to blend in that under eye concealer. Now I'm going to do a little incision cover. And again, I never like to say the word S-C-A-R. 
because SCAR stick around, and I know that this one won't. It starts down here, ladies, and uh, it's kind of a long thing. There we go. I'm using this L'Oreal True Match Concealer Stick in Peach, and it is a very good way to cancel out dark imperfections of any type. If you have dark under eye circles, it's a great thing just to put in the, not over the bag, because that would emphasize the bag, but just to put in the dark portion of the under eye bag. And then like here, I've got these dark marks here. So we'll go ahead and put a little peach there to kind of blend that in. Just use my fingers to pat that in. It is not easy having something on one's face like an incision. It is not easy. But I think I needed to learn something because I do think God doesn't give bad gifts and life is perfect. And maybe some of you can be helped if you have a little imperfection on your face that you need to not only cover, but learn to live with. As we get a little more grown up, we certainly realize that we have to let the perfectionism go, which is extremely difficult for me because I am Miss Perfectionism and it does not do me any favors. Now I'm just going to pat that in a little bit along there. Now the next thing we need to do to make that foundation totally bulletproof is to powder it in and you never bake when you're my advanced age. <laughs> Baking is a bad thing. But again, I take the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I have this little beauty blender dupe that I got from Miss A Beauty. And I got this idea from Carol of the O Carol Show and she is fabulous. If you haven't seen her, I'll put her link below. But I'm just gonna give this just a, like maybe two spritzes, not very much at all. In fact, maybe one spritz is better. I'm gonna tap that off a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with some powder and I've been loving this Peach Perfect powder because it is a blurring powder. And I really like that, especially when we get to be a little more grown up. We have all kinds of areas that we would like to be blurred out. So we're just gonna go ahead and pat that powder all over the face, anywhere where you want your foundation to stay, which for me is of course all over my face. And I have been amazed at the difference in this technique in terms of getting my foundation to stay. Okay, now, put that powder away. <laughs> ah Here we go. Now, we're just going to really just pat, 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 pat. And I got this technique from Wayne Goss, and I will link his video below, but you'd have to be under a rock to not know Wayne Goss. He's amazing. I didn't get the first part of it on the Clarisonic from Wayne Goss, but I got this pat, pat, pat technique where you pat in the powder but we do need to maybe use a setting spray in the end because we don't want to be too powdery looking. The more you pat it in, the more it just kind of looks like skin, which is a good thing. And in terms of my pores, I've been using niacinamide now for about 10 months and all of a sudden its promises are coming true. My pores are really getting smaller, which is a wonderful thing and I'm going to be doing a video about niacinamide. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell. Then you'll know when I post my video on niacin or niacinamide. It is an absolutely beautiful B vitamin that does great things for your skin, but you have to be patient, which for me is not easy, <laughs> but just put it in your skincare regimen and look up 10 months later and your pores are gone, or at least a lot less. Okay, there we go. Now I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to just go ahead and fast motion through the rest of my makeup. This is a look at my Bulletproof foundation, and I'll go ahead and show you a video of it later in the day. Now it is five o'clock at night, and I shot the video this morning and put the foundation on about seven. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five. Wow, it's been 10 hours. <laughs> I don't count very well. And I'm gonna to try to get in really close so you can see. My lipstick is gone. I have not applied any powder or anything this whole day. And as you can see, we, I've got a little bit, you can tell a little bit of uh, pores are coming through there. But the forehead looks pretty smooth. Everything looks pretty good. I'll get in closer. It just all looks good. And I'm going to look at it in my close-up mirror to see if I see anything. No, maybe a little, maybe a little bit of bunching around the nose here, maybe a little bit there, but for the most part, 
It really does look bulletproof. There is nothing wrong with that foundation after all of those hours. <laughs> and I really think it is the means of applying it Plus this Urban Decay All Nighter is amazing. Now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I'm going to go ahead and use this card deck, the Life Loves You Cards by Louise Hay. And I'll go ahead and choose a card here. God, what do you want us to think about today? Okay, let's go ahead and choose a card. Ooh, this is a good one. Ooh, I love my body. I love my body. Oh my, this is a good one. Let's see what it says. Do a downward dog. Take a dance class. Book a foot massage. Be kind to your body. Oh, friends, this is really a good card. It made me a little bit nervous because lately my body, I don't know, my body is, is doing its own thing. It is hanging out where I don't want it to hang out. It's just having a mind of its own lately. And as we become more grown up, that is something that we need to accept is that our bodies are going to change. We're going to get funny little marks and veins where we don't want them. And things are going to poke out a little more than they used to poke out when we were in our 30s or 40s. But the thing we need to remember, which is so true, is that it is a wonderful thing that we can do a downward dog or that we can take a dance class and that this body is really a blessing, no matter its shape or size, because it carries us around in the world each day. So friends, just for today, let's do be kind to our bodies. Let's say nice things to our bodies. Let's be a friend to our bodies. Because you know, every day, every minute, every hour of our first half, our bodies carried us all through life, through the good, the bad, the happy, the sad. Let's be kind and bless our bodies today, just as our bodies have blessed us. Take care. See you next time.